advanced propulsion is about moving away from fossil fuels and the way that we currently move people and goods around the world. With our ambitions to achieve net zero, we need to decarbonize across the transport sector, whether that's road, rail, marine or air. The APL is the Advanced Propulsion Lab and it's a brand new lab being built out at UCL East, which is in Stratford on the old Olympic side. UCL East is an incredibly vibrant campus in a really exciting part of London, so it's a great place to be based. But actually, from a research perspective, one of the key advantages is that we'll be there in brand new purpose-built facilities. We've been specifying these labs and these buildings for a number of years now, and it's really exciting to see that come to fruition because these are really tailor-made for our purposes in developing advanced propulsion systems. The APL is incredibly interdisciplinary. Uh, we have engineers and scientists from every field coming to work together on this problem. So we cover things from the very materials that go in to electric motors and batteries and fuel cells that would power future propulsion. Uh, we also work on systems level problems uh, where we're trying to think about heat transfer, control, all of the things that you have to consider when you're bringing lots of complex units together to move things in an electric way. We're going to be looking at developing facilities for testing and building new technologies. So these technologies will include batteries, they'll include fuel cells, power electronic systems, electrical machines, and then to combine that into a full propulsion system. Now these propulsion systems could be used in many different applications, road vehicles, buses for example, trains, but also shipping, which is my field. And the opportunity there is really at all scales, so from small pleasure boats all the way up to large ships. Climate change is one of the main issues worldwide. Most countries gather together to find some solutions aiming to go towards net zero. The APL plays an important role in, in this regard. We will have fantastic facilities, excellent research staff that could help us to tackle these type of challenges. We're increasingly engaging with industry and with government. We're not a university working away, beavering away in our labs in isolation. We're working very closely with industry to translate these findings into the real world. And we're working very closely with government in order to inform the policies that will drive the development of advanced propulsion systems in support of our net zero ambitions. The master's programmes that we will be delivering as part of the APL, they build on uh, UCL's uh, world-leading engineering education programme. We are combining practical experience with theory um, as we go along. Uh, the students will get to work on real-life problems, not just textbook examples. They will be working together with industry, they will be working very closely with our researchers in cutting-edge technology. One of the aims of the Advanced Propulsion Lab and with its associated MSCs is to produce the experts who are going to solve the problems in the future, who are going to produce the vehicles that have zero emissions. Mm -hmm.